Welcome back to Broken Electronics. I'm Lee, and as always, it's wonderful you could stop by here today. We're here in Studio B, and we're going to have a video today focused on my 2008 3.1 Mac Pro. Uh, I did one upgrade to it, which I think there's a real need to show. I did take one of my unflashed RX 580 video cards and put it in. So that's a definite upgrade, although we lose the boot screen. Uh, there are ways of dealing with that, which we'll find out as the video goes on. Uh, we'll take a, talk a little bit about Mojave and how I've enjoyed working with Mojave. I really have, quite honestly. Um, but it is time to move on to Catalina. Now, I did have a thought concerning Catalina that perhaps rather than upgrading it via the DOS Dude 1 patcher, that I might try the OpenCore Legacy patcher, which is supposed to work. So I did, in fact, make a USB flash drive uh, with the uh, Catalina installer on it, and I used the OpenCore Legacy patcher to put OpenCore onto the EFI partition in that uh, flash drive. I did that four times with three different versions of the Open Core Legacy Patcher. I could not get the installer to boot up. It would freeze at the same place every single time and it would not go past it. Uh, I don't really know why, but rather than talk about it and explain it, I think the best thing is going to be to show you. Now, if you're interested in seeing that, please stay tuned. And here is the problem. Uh, this is in verbose mode, of course. Uh, this is where it sticks. Ethernet has a MAC address, IP address, waiting for remote debugger connection. And it stalls here, and it just will not go past it. Uh, I don't have a clue what one can do about that. Now, if anybody out there happens to know how you can get past this, please let me know. I have not been able to find anything out, really, in Internet research. Uh, so it begins to look like the return of DOS Dude 1. Stay tuned that annoying though. Uh, fortunately, the DOS Dude 1 patcher still exists. We'll make use of that. Uh, it will be interesting to see if I can actually create a Big Sur installation uh, with OpenCore Legacy Patcher. Uh, it, if I can't, then Catalina is going to be the end of the road as far as this machine is. It's not a bad end of the road considering it's a 2008 computer. Uh, all right, but on we go. Our overview of Mojave. Uh, yeah, Mojave is so recent, it's fresh in all of your minds. It, one of the things I was struck with, you know, I've, I've mentioned a couple of times in past videos, wallpapers. Uh, Mojave was where active desktop wallpapers came into being. Uh, we can come into here, look at desktop and screensaver. The dynamic desktop. I knew I didn't have active desktop. I'm living in the past and thinking about Windows there. Okay, yeah, the dynamic desktop. Uh, and that, I really like that feature. You know, of course, it, it's continued in Catalina and Big Sur, but Mojave was where it started. Uh, all the apps just worked. I, I haven't run across an app at least that I use, and I use quite a few, you can see down in my dock, that will run on, on Catalina or Big Sur that will not run on Mojave. And that's the, the recentness of it. Uh, that being the case, you know, perhaps we shouldn't 
spend a tremendous amount of time in the overview. Uh, so, you would need to fire up your web browser, nav navigate to dustdude1.com, click on the software link, and the Catalina Patcher. I have, of course, already done that. So we'll open this up. All right. Now, is it going to give me a problem here? Yep, I held down the option key when I clicked it. Okay. Click continue. All of the neat people who helped with this project. Now, since I had been trying to create uh, an open core uh, version of the Catalina installer, I have already downloaded a couple, three times uh, the installer for Catalina and we can look into this it's not in documents it's in applications I'm going past it here install Mac OS Catalina and there we go now one of the cool things about this because uh, of course I put an unflashed RX 580 in there I won't get a boot screen. If you do it with Open Core, at least in theory, you get the boot screen from Open Core. But that doesn't work with DOS Dude 1. You have to have a boot screen if you're going to create the bootable installer. DOS Dude 1 included for the first time an install to this machine option. All right. So we're going to patch a copy. And this will take a while. Stay tuned. We have success. So we can quit out of the Dust Dude 1 patcher. And here you see we've got and saw Mac OS Catalina down here in the dock. This looks like a perfectly normal uh, Catalina installer, uh, as you would find on the desktop if this were a supported Mac. Uh, this should work. Of course, I have completely backed up just before I started this. Uh, so, if disaster strikes, we'll be able to recover perfectly well. All right, now I'm going to have to end the recording uh, before I do this, we may get some camera captures of the installation in progress. But please, stay tuned. Okay, we've had continue and agree and install. Okay. Right. Now, it says 13 minutes remaining. That's, of course, completely bogus. It will be here on this screen for a while, and then it's going to reboot the... Yep. So we're going to restart the computer. All right, we'll bring you back when something happens. Stay tuned. Well, I do hope that you weren't counting on a detailed uh, look at the installation process because, of course, since the video card that's currently in the machine is unflashed, uh, you won't see anything but this black screen for a while. Uh, so, with that in mind, please stay tuned. Well, this is not going according to plan. It's almost two hours, and we're still not seeing anything. All right. Uh... <laughs> Just as a side, I wouldn't have let it go this long. It clearly, uh, it's, nothing is going to happen. Uh, but I, I really like Draga One videos. 
so much so that recently I've been re-watching a lot of his older videos. Uh, first, first of all, they're funny. He seems like a cool guy. Uh, but more, one of the, the things that really speaks to me, he talks about making his videos, that most of his time is spent just waiting for things to happen. And <clears throat> that's exactly what happens here. And sometimes he will go away and do something else and miss something that happens. Uh, I went down and started cleaning my kitchen, which I needed to do. Uh, still nothing had happened. I, I ended up cooking dinner, then eating dinner. And here we still sit. All right. So what I am going to do is force it off, shut it down, restart it, and see what happens. Now it'll either boot into LCAP or <laughs> Mojave, possibly, or maybe it'll even boot into Catalina. Who knows? In order to find out, stay tuned. Well, it, it is booting up. Let's see. Okay. I think I know what it's... Oh! Ha 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 ha! It's the installer! <laughs> now what usually happens is at some point in the installation, the OS boots up enough that the screen will come on and show the rest of it. Uh, in this case, the screen just never came on. So when I forced it off and started again, there it is. Okay, so I won't make you sit here 26 minutes. Stay tuned. Well, the screen went black. Uh, it had counted down to about eight minutes remaining or so. And hopefully it's going to come back up again. Oh! Oh, no. The other monitor came up. It was just going into Power Saver. Okay, see, I'm wondering if it restarted itself. Because, of course, I had walked away again. And... That's why the screen's black. Well, I'm going to give it a bit longer. Stay tuned. Nope, it, uh, it came back up again, and it's in the process of booting up. I am suspecting maybe we'll boot into the OS here. And here we are. Son of a gun. Well, we've got a couple of patches in there. Oh, now we've got a, yeah, I was, I was waiting for this. We have to go through the configuration. Okay, I'm going to do all of this, get it going, and we'll wrap it up with another uh, screen recording. Stay tuned. Here we are back again. I've uh, set the machine up completely. Uh, installed those couple of patches uh, and one of them certainly did need to be in order to get night shift to work you do need to install a patch uh, all right where do we go now let's look up here in about this Mac and we see we are in fact on our Mac Pro early 2008 here's our 2 by 3.2 gigahertz quad-core uh, Intel Xeons. The 56 gigabytes of RAM, and I meant to say something about that in researching this. I ran across a thread that indicated that any version of Mac OS after Mavericks would not be able to address the full 64 gig. Uh, it, you're, you're, it, if it booted at all, it would run 
painfully slow. Now that's exactly the behavior that I noticed when we had it running uh, on High Sierra. The machine booted up, it, it installed fine, but it just ran so slowly. Uh, I suppose at some point I will try putting the extra 8 gig in uh, here in Catalina, see if Catalina can deal with it. Uh, I kind of doubt it. Uh, the, the business of anything after uh, Mavericks doesn't hold up because I had this machine running on El Capitan 10 uh, with no problem at all with 64 gig of RAM. If El Cap will do it, I am quite sure that uh, Yosemite would have done it just as well. So it's looking to me that any version of the OS on which this machine is not supported is going to have a problem. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I'll try it on, on Catalina. Maybe Catalina will be magic, but who knows? All right. Uh, or do, I do have two displays set up, which is nice. Uh, all the storage that's attached. Here you can see the memory. It's always a little jarring for me to look and say, why do I have four, <laughs> four gig dims put in there? Well, there you go. All right. And system report. Let's see, I'll just show up as it should. Uh, Bluetooth. We do have Bluetooth 4.0 enabled. So AirDrop is still working. I've already AirDropped the uh, camera recorded clips to the Mac Pro. Worked perfectly. Um, and the Wi Fi 802.11ac. So the Wi Fi is very, very good. You know, at, at one of the things that always bothered me is I can't get uh, the machine to work unlocked with Apple Watch. Um, then it just, it asked me to. My 5.1 Mac Pros, I've never been able to, even though I have upgraded the Wi-Fi and, and Bluetooth. Uh, so anyhow, I, I did that, and it, it just popped out of nowhere and asked me, so I set it up said yes. But it doesn't really do it. It tries to, then it gives up and you know, it goes back to putting in the password. Oh well, not that big a deal. Okay, I don't know if there's anything else we absolutely need to look at here. Uh, we've got the machine up and running Catalina at least. Uh, I had hoped to do it with OpenCore, but yeah, the, the big, the nice thing about OpenCore is when you get security updates, they're right there. Uh, the only way you can get do the security updates is to go back to uh, DOS Dude Run and one and reinstall the whole operating system again. But hey, there you go. All right. So, be good to other people. Other people deserve it and need it. Be good to yourselves. It all has to start from there because if we're not good to ourselves, we're not going to be good to the other people. We can make this world a better place. It isn't yet, so please take very, very good and careful care. Uh, we'll certainly have at least one more video on this machine, a, a, a an overview of Catalina on the machine, and then putting in you know the the wrap up on the entire series i am still going to work on trying to get open core on there and getting big sur on this thing uh maybe i'll be able to do it maybe i won't but until those things and many 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 more are available on the channel this has been broken electronics